Without doubt, the Snowden beetle is my favourite British insect. Don't worry, this isn't to scale. They're actually teeny tiny, just like a ladybird. They're what we call a jewel beetle, and this one has the nickname of the rainbow leaf beetle, and you can totally see why. On its outer exoskeleton, it has amazing bands of iridescent colours, red, blue, yellow, green, and they shimmer, and I just think they look lovely. Now, being iridescent, the colours change depending on what angle on which you view them. This is because there's certain pigments in the beetle's outer exoskeleton which interfere with light and reflect the colours back in all different directions, which gives the beetle the shiny, rainbow-like effect. And this is different to other colour pigments, which is where the light simply comes in and bounces back in one direction. Now something absolutely mind-blowing is that these rainbow-like colours actually can serve as camouflage. Which, I don't know about you, but to me, that sounds pretty counterintuitive. How do bright colours help hide a beetle? Unless, of course, it's living on a rainbow. So I decided to look into this a bit further. Now, the idea of iridescence as camouflage is well over a hundred years old, but it was only this year that some clever scientists decided to be the first people to put this hypothesis to the test. And I'm going to be the second. So the researchers got a load of iridescent wing cases, and remember, light comes in, scatters it everywhere, and they got a load of more colourful wing cases. And remember with these ones, the light comes in and bounces back in one direction. Okay, and they filled them up with mealworms and scattered them around a natural environment just like this one. And they waited to see how many birds went for these dummy beetles. I'm going to do the second part of the experiment. They got people to walk through the woodlands and simply record when they saw the wing cases because they didn't know if, in the first experiment, the birds could see the iridescent beetles but were actually choosing to ignore them, maybe because the iridescent colours were acting as a big, fat warning sign. Right, let's do this. I'm going to need to recruit some help. Mum! Mum! Typical. <laughs> Yes. Mum, I need you to do me a treasure hunt. You big kid. Off I go. Right, I guess whilst Mum's doing that, I'll have a quick dog break. Hello, beauty! You gonna help me find some beetles? <laughs> okay, let's find these beetles. If I was a bird, where would I find a beetle? But Mum doesn't even remember where she's put them, actually. I think I found the first one. There we go. Oh, yes, got the green. You got it, so. Woo! Hey, 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 three down. Oh, yep, yeah. got another one. It's pretty in pink. So I've got the four coloured ones, and Mum assures me that the iridescent one is in here. Let's have a little look. Oh! Oh, oh, we're playing hot and cold now. That's quite handy, actually, because I don't have a clue where it could be. Please help me, gorgeous thing. Hot, 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 hot. Hot, hot, hot. woo -hoo -hoo! Yes, I've got it. That was definitely the most difficult one. It just goes to show that iridescence allows animals to hide in plain sight, which is pretty neat. She is such a noisy eater. <laughs> <laughs> but how, you ask? Not how is she a noisy eater, how does iridescence allow them to hide? Camouflage works in more ways than matching the object with the background. In the case of iridescence, light is distorted in such a way that the outlines of the iridescent object can't be perceived, so we can't make out the shape or the size of the beetle, which is pretty cool, and this nifty phenomena you're right, <laughs> is known as disruptive camouflage. So who would have thought that with camouflage, sometimes 
the most garish of colours, are actually the hardest to spot. But you might also have trouble tracking down the Snowdon beetle, not just because of their pretty dazzling camouflage, but also because they're incredibly rare. There's only thought to be about a thousand of them left in the UK, and, as the name suggests, they're scattered across Snowdonia. So, I think the rainbow leaf insect has a pretty relevant name. Not only do they look like a rainbow, but they're just as rare.